This is the first entry of this journal. My name is Morris Light. I'm a resident of Knox County. I was too late for the evacuation. I've been left here with others like me who couldn't make it to the extraction. That was three days ago. Hardly anyone was on the streets then. Now? It's terrifying. I can hear people screaming in their homes. Gunshots and violence. My name is Morris Light. And this is my story. Watching the news and radio broadcasts, I knew that staying in this house was hopeless. It was just days ago the infected were in their houses with their families. And now, they're wandering the streets. Are they looking for help? I needn't have asked myself that question when I looked out of my window and saw a group of them feasting on a man's flesh. Their hands digging into his bowels like a bowl of spaghetti and tearing at whatever they could grab. It sent shivers down my spine and I was weak to the core with fear. I've never seen a body, let alone one getting mutilated. I knew that if I was going to survive, I wasn't going to last long in this house, so I gathered what I could. It's taken me hours to pluck the courage to face these infected. I pondered and prepared myself on the thought. We've been abandoned here. This place they call the Exclusion Zone. Damn government aren't even telling the people what's going on. So if they've left us here to die, then I knew I was going to have to kill one of these infected if I had to. I planned it in my head. I needed a vehicle to make my way to the country. I counted to three and took a deep breath. One, two, three! The Jefferson's house burnt to the ground from a gas explosion. I could take one good guess that they decided to go out with a bang rather than get eaten alive. A dignified way to go, I guess. Quick and painless. There was more out here than I thought. It's like the entire population is sick. Man, this infection spreads fast. No way I'm gonna find a vehicle. I'm going to need to shake these things off.
fence wall. I sure hope nothing's on the other side of it. Whew. That was close. going on. I need to find something better than a frying pan. Rolling pin. The Latin mother's go to weapon of choice. It's either that or a flip flop. I'm about to do some Latin mama's proud, I guess. God, these things don't let up. They see that door off the hinges just for a bit of fresh meat. I know it's not for the pizza. Not a slice in sight. I gotta get out of here before more come. Shit! The car is out of the question. I guess I'm walking it. Yeah. 
Having been able to escape the tenacious dead pursuing me, I needed to take a breather, so I sat down right there in the open road where nothing could creep up on me. I could see a few of them in the distance, but I was too far away for them to see me as fresh meat. Having caught my breath, I decided to follow on down the road. Not knowing where the road would take me, I prayed that it was safe. I was starting to get thirsty, and the worry of finding a drink began settling in the back of my mind. I survived. Finding a vehicle proved to be harder than I thought. The town is teeming with infected. There was no way I was going to be able to drive out of there. The woods was the only answer. I found an old hunter's club. Or is it a campsite? I'm not sure. All I know is that I'm safe and the infected seem to be less dense here. I killed someone today. Or something. He was a police officer. Geared to the teeth with a shotgun. Magnum, body armor, and a jacket. He had all the gear and I killed him with a rolling pin. My heart goes out to that police officer's family. If they're still alive. If I had a shovel, I would have dug him a grave. Damn this outbreak. I kept my gear on in case I needed to be ready to run. I wasn't taking any chances. I closed my eyes and hoped to live out the night. July 4th, 1993. The following morning, I woke to a faint tapping on glass. I was already jumpy. Guess breakfast was going to have to wait. I don't think it's safe here anymore. I slept rough that night. The safest room in the building was the changing rooms. I slept on the bench. Uh, I guess I can't complain. At least I slept. Thank <laughs> you. 
That should be all of them. I took the opportunity to eat a burger and hydrate. This place wasn't going to be safe, so I headed out again, into the wilderness. This road is infested with infected, so I pulled out my shotgun and made the biggest mistake of my life.
July 4th, 1993. Evening. I'm exhausted. I can barely walk. My eyes are heavy. I'm terrified of falling asleep. The thought of one of these things jumping through the glass window as I sleep is maddening. They just... don't... stop. Ever since I fired off that shotgun, they have not stopped following me. Running wasn't working either, because they could hear my footsteps. I've been lacerated across my chest. One of those things caught me and somehow it got me. I don't know if I'll even make it. Uh, I guess I'll see how I feel in the morning.